Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Gemini. Gemini, this is your monthly general reading for June 2019. I am using the Tarot of Dreams to pull a May main theme and energy for you this month, and we have the Hermit coming out here. That's a very powerful energy. I'm also using the Madame and Dora. All right. <laughs> All right, we have the wolf coming up here, and it says, Beware of who you trust. All right, so I'm going to pull one more. Caduceus, you will receive news from afar. Very interesting. All right. I'm also using the Psychic Tarot Gemini. Very nice. Rejoice in celebration. All right. And I'm pulling one from the Energy Oracle. And Gemini, I will be doing your monthly tarot reading with the Morgan Greer Tarot deck. And I will be pulling several life purpose cards at the end of your reading. Oh, look at that. Man holding a heart. All right. Very nice. All right, Gemini, give me just one second here. Let me get all of your cards shuffled and laid out, and we will go over them. All right, Spirit, what does Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign need to know in the month of June 2019? And by the way, Gemini, happy birthday to those of you who have already um, had a birthday, and happy birthday to you that have birthdays this month. All right. Thank you so much, Spirit. What does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini need to know? All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. We are ready, Gemini. All right. The situation of the month. We have the Nine of Rods coming up here. Very nice. We have the sun coming up in your crossing position. We have the six of cups coming up here in your foundation. In your recent past, we have the three of rods. Very nice. Crowning you, we have the four of rods. All right. Your new circumstance is the nine of swords. What you need to know, Knight of Rods, your environment, Four of Swords, King of Swords is the universal advice, all right, and your outcome energy is the Three of Swords, all right, Gemini, give me just a moment here, there's a few cards I want to clarify. I do want to clarify this uh, Six of Cups in the foundation for Gemini Spirit. What is this Six of Cups? Very nice. We have the Ten of Cups. All right. I want to clarify the Nine of Swords is the new circumstance for Gemini. What is this Nine of Swords Spirit? Very interesting. Uh, we have the Nine of Cups. What in the world do you have going on, Gemini? <laughs> All right. I want to clarify this Three of Swords spirit in the outcome position. Three of Swords. Oh, we pulled two. All right. We have the... Three of Pentacles, 
with the high priestess all right very interesting very interesting all right i see that as timing gemini all right so let's go ahead and let's look at your reading here all right i'm just gonna say this i feel like for some of you someone's fixing to get married okay and if you're not fixing to get married you're fixing to make a commitment to your twin flame all right your soulmate so that's for some of you for others of you this is really positive reading here this is a time of good time celebration um, going within as well let's look at your major energies here gemini we have the hermit coming up here this is the energy of virgo so i feel like and this is a nine and you have one two three four all right so i feel like this is very positive gemini you have four nines in this reading so uh, 99 99 may be significant to some of you and that's abundance and blessings as well when you break it down in numerology so and it's also you're at, uh, at the completion you know tidying up and uh, finishing and ending a cycle all right so beautiful now the hermit is all about spiritual enlightenment. Um, I feel like this you're going to spend this month going within, doing what's best for Gemini. Figuring out which direction it is that you want to go in, maybe. Maybe with your job, maybe in a relationship. Uh, you're gaining some type of inner peace and patience with yourself. This is you gaining a lot of knowledge and understanding and wisdom about where it is that you want to be and where you're going, Gemini. So very positive. And it's also listening to your own inner wisdom, your intuition. So you're going to need it with this energy of the wolf coming out here. This is beware who you trust. So this isn't for everyone. Uh, this could just be for one or two of you, maybe a handful. I feel like you have maybe a chameleon in your midst. Somebody's not maybe wearing uh somebody may be wearing a false mask so just be aware uh, but i feel like your intuition i feel like you're going to be going by your gut instinct about people and decisions anyway so i feel like this will sh whoever this is it will be you'll you'll see it okay that's what i'm trying to say now we have the caduceus coming in here you will receive news from afar this could be very exciting news that you've been waiting on. Something that you're very passionate about. Uh, I feel like this is good, good news. Something positive for you, Gemini. Uh, this, I feel like, is something that you've been working very hard uh, at maybe getting done or trying to accomplish here. So, very nice. Now, we have Rejoice in Celebration. So, this is the number three. And we have the number three coming up here three times, uh, no, four times as well. And you guys, these are, yeah, these are divine numbers as, as well. I want y'all to know this. So it's three, 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 three. So that is a very spiritual number. Uh, it's all about abundance, growth, um, and I feel like, you know, with rejoice and celebration coming out here, you guys may be getting together with friends, family, celebrating. It could have to do with this Caduceus coming up here, uh, this news that's coming in for you. You're going to be celebrating. You're going to be happy. You're going to be rejoicing in spirit, all right? I feel like there's something coming. Uh, I feel like there was, you know, uh, there's an energy here where Spirit's trying to say here to me is that you've been waiting on something to come to completion, uh you know and that's what's going on here it's taking place now uh it's going to be different from all of you uh this could be definitely a job change a love interest um moving maybe buying a house selling a house but something you're waiting on completion of something and it's here you guys and it's right at the beginning of the month i feel like for you so i feel like there's a lot of celebrating going on and then we have man holding a heart 
If this is a male Gemini uh, watching, this most definitely could be the woman holding a heart as well. Um, and this is the number nine. Four, four and five is nine. So, wow. But this does not have to be romance. This could be somebody that's older, that's mature, that's coming into your life and your situation, Gemini, that's going to be able to help you. They're a real, true, honest friend, and they have a lot of love for you. And most definitely, for some of you, this is going to represent romance, you guys. So, very nice and very positive. This could be this, this could be somebody coming that you haven't seen in a very long time. Uh, you receiving news that they're on their way or they're, they're coming to see you as well is what Spirit's saying. Very nice, positive energies. All right, so we have the nine of rods coming up here at the heart of the situation for the month of June for you, Gemini. I love this energy. This is the Wounded Warrior uh, card to me right here. He's collected all these rods. He's been wounded, but he can still pick himself up and successfully persevere and move forward. So to me, this is all about that inner strength all right and being aware having a great awareness about what's going on around you and you gain that through this spiritual enlightenment with the hermit coming up here as well persevering all right we have the sun coming in here uh in your crossing position this can either be a positive or a challenge for you um, I'm seeing it in both ways. It depends on uh, some of you that are watching. It's going to be positive for some, and it's going to be a challenge for some. Let's go ahead and do the challenge first. For some of you, listen to your intuition, Gemini, and you'll know if this is for you. Now, some of you are going to have a hard time having clarity about moving forward or maybe getting to the heart of the matter in a situation, all right? Uh, you're going to be a little bit confused on clarity and truth here for others of you this is a positive if you come to this reading you needed a yes or no answer to your question it's a yes uh you have clarity this is joy happiness fun under the sun this is letting your inner child shine uh even though you are persevering and moving forward this represents that you have the light shining and sh you know spirit showing you the path showing you the way to go and spirit is really um shining down on you right now uh during this time in this month of june gemini this is you having the clarity that you need to move forward this is all about creativity this is all about success discovering the truth for what it is getting to the heart of the matter and that's what that three of swords can often represent as well and we'll get to that in a moment it is not negative you guys i want you to know that um let's look at your foundation this is what's driving you uh in the month of june gemini so you have the six of cups coming through here now this can be a soul connection this can be somebody coming back from your a past life you know, through reincarnation, or this could be a soul connection coming back to you from childhood, a twin flame. Very well, that could be who this person is right here. Um, this is also, to me, represents uh, innocence, uh, letting your inner child shine. I feel like it's very important, Gemini, to not be serious. You know, allow your Gemini self to shine, and you guys, uh, you know, you are very upbeat and you know I, I i love your energy it just to me i feel like you trust and you believe in the universe and you go with the flow and that's right here is what this representation is it's showing that you know you allow that side of you to just shine and everybody else sees it it's innocence playfulness all right sometimes it can represent memories past memories of, as well nostalgia but it is clarified by the ten of cups so this is beautiful. So like I said, some of you could be getting married. Uh, the Ten of Cups can represent family happiness, joy, peace, harmony. And what's beautiful with this energy, there's a promise of more to come, Gemini. So this is what you're, this is what you're, you know, working towards. This is what you want. You want that complete, 
happiness. I feel like you think back and remember when you were a child and your childhood and you want the same memories. You, you want your children to have, you know, the good life. And uh, it's a very beautiful and positive energy that's coming through here. Now, we do have the three of rods coming out. And this was the other three. We do have four threes. So, 33, 33. Very positive, uh, you know, energy coming out with that, you guys. That's very spiritual. So, that may be significant to some of you. Now, the three of rods is your recent past. I feel like this is you having uh, possibly foresight, this clarity of the end game here of... What it is that you're working towards. You've planted the seeds. Uh, this is you waiting on your ships to come in. And this is coming in in your recent past. So it's definitely still playing a big part of, you know, your energy during the month of June. And what's beautiful about this, this is you, you know, having growth and expansion. Because when you, this is the recent past. When you get to the crowning position you go to the three to the four here it goes here's this growth expansion with this four of rods all right this is celebration you know we're getting this twice here this could be a family reunion for some of you some of you could be getting married others of you could be reconnecting with someone from your past now it could be a friendship or it could be romantic this is joy peace this represents the home um, something that is built on a strong and firm foundation, security and stability. And this is what you're thinking about, Gemini. So very positive. Now we come here to the new circumstance and we have the Nine of Swords coming out here. And most definitely you have major changes that are taking place. You're transitioning. I feel like in the month of June, you have someone maybe coming back or some of you may be getting married. Some of you could be um, changing careers even or moving. And of course, it's going to cause some anxiety, maybe some sleepless nights. Um, this is all about, you know, worry, you know, maybe overwhelmed by your feelings, okay, and your emotions because you have so much going on. But it's all right, Gemini. Looky here what we have clarifying that energy, the Nine of Cups. This is the wish fulfillment card this is emotional satisfaction this is pleasure right here this is you getting what it is that you truly want what you desire it's you getting that job it's you getting that relationship it's you getting married it's you having that big happy family that abundance in your life this is what you need to know about the situation uh of you know in the month of june gemini so we have the nine of rods. This is you having inner strength and being victorious and moving uh, forward and persevering successfully. What you need to know about it is the nine of rods. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy coming through here. This is passion. This is desire about what it is that you're persevering in. What, what it is that you truly want. This is you taking a positive healthy risk or maybe taking a leap of faith but it's something that you're very passionate about something that you desire uh, you're going after it now i feel like with the four of swords showing up here in your environment um, this could be your energy or others around you there's a need maybe for a temporary retreat maybe a break maybe to take a rest um, this is a time of contemplation, uh, maybe needing to take a step back, maybe do some meditation before you come back to the table and maybe move forward or persevere, or maybe it's, you know, this decision, you're going after something that you're very passionate about. You, you're taking a positive risk here, taking a leap of faith. This is you gaining that inner wisdom, that knowledge. This reminds me of this energy right here with the hermit going within uh, finding that spiritual enlightenment within yourself so to me these kind of represent the same energies right here on how to move forward some of you could be moving like i said uh, some of you could be uh, doing home repairs as well now your advice from the universe 
beautiful. This is what the spirit wants you to know. We have your energy right here, the king of swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius right here. Uh, the king of swords is direct, just, you know, this is a fair energy right here, okay? This is truth. This is clarity, all right? Um, whatever this king of swords is uh, setting out to do or accomplish, there's justice here. There's fairness. Um, this is a very, like I said, just very assertive, direct type of energy right here. Um, he's holding that sword of truth, and I feel like this is clarity. This is doing, uh, I, I feel like with the universe saying that this is your advice, I feel like it's very important that you use logic and reason, and Gemini, that is your air energy, that, that is, should come natural to you, so this should be in your favor, be who you are, I feel like is what spirit is saying, stand in your power of the king of swords, be that truth, be that justice, uh, speak any truths that need to be spoke, use logic and reason, and be fair and balanced, okay, so very positive, because then you come up here, and your outcome energy is the three of swords, now, this card gets a bad rap, I know, a lot of times. And this can represent sometimes a loss or uh, maybe sadness. But what I'm getting here with this, because there is no loss or sorrow, all right, Gemini, in this reading. This is timing right here, or this is getting to the heart of the matter of a situation. So this could be three days, three weeks, three months. And this has to do, I feel like, with your job or whatever it is that you're working on. Because I clarified it with the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles represents working on your skill. You being a team player. You planning something. This could be something that you're planning to start or begin in three days, three weeks, three months. Something that could take that long to come to fruition. But most importantly, with this energy right here, Gemini, this is saying to me that People are watching you. They're watching your work. You may have a boss. You, you may have co-workers. And they're admiring what you're doing. You're very skilled. You're very well knowledge on what it is that you do. Some of you could be getting a pay raise, a promotion, maybe in this three days, three weeks, three months time as well. Now we have the High Priestess. It came out too with the Three of Pentacles. This is you listening to your own divine psychic energy uh, this month, going within, uh, finding that spiritual enlightenment within yourself. You know, the high priestess is the energy of the keeper of the hidden knowledge, the scrolls, secrets. And you have the sun in your reading along with this energy. And plus with this being the energy as the outcome, you are the keeper of your knowledge and you know how to tap into that. You know how to, uh, use that psychic energy for a positive uh, outcome in your situation. This is you having a deeper understanding and being very clairvoyant and just trusting and believing in yourself, Gemini. This is such a positive reading, you guys. You're going to have to leave me a comment and let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I want to know what's going on because there is several several situations that spirit has shown me here and has told me so you know you guys please drop me a comment and let me know it's very positive very positive all right let's pull some life purpose we have support coming out here gemini your life purpose fully supports you i believe it all right we have spiritual teacher coming out here you heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. Some of you, some of you may be this high priestess energy right here, right? That That's you, Gemini. All right, beautiful. All right, let's pull one more, Gemini. All right. School. The answers that you're seeking involves going to school. That could be this career change. That could be you getting stuff in order uh, and switching careers. Maybe it's needed to go back to a Bowtech, a trade school, or college. 
It's going to be different for everyone. Maybe uh, going and getting your GED even. All right, Gemini, happy birthday uh, to all of you. And I love you guys. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, Gemini.